Who is purchasing land around military bases in the U.S. and why? Is it a threat to U.S. security? Can it and should it be stopped? These questions have been circulating in media headlines for more than a year. One Midwestern governor this week addressed those questions head on with an order blocking land purchases by foreign adversaries. The questions have also been kicked around at the Pentagon and on Capitol Hill as alarms sound at the thought of an adversary of the U.S. strategically purchasing land around sensitive military sites. A group of bipartisan lawmakers is investigating China purchasing a lot of American farmland, including some around U.S. military bases. After a Chinese group bought 270 acres of land near an Air Force base in North Dakota in 2022, the Biden administration proposed a rule tightening restrictions over who can buy land near U.S. bases. Many states want to go even further, banning all land sales to foreign adversaries like China. This week, Missouri Governor Mike Parson did just that, saying the state is taking its security into its own hands as he signed an executive order that bans all land sales to foreign adversaries within 10 miles of critical military sites in the state. Understanding the heightened concern, this order safeguards our military and intelligence assets, prevents security threats to our state, and gives Missourians greater peace of mind. States listed in the executive order include China, Cuba, Iran, North Korea, Russia, and Venezuela. Parson added that currently no foreign adversary owns land within the restrictions outlined in this executive order. While we have had no issues at this point, we want to be proactive against any potential threats. Governor Parson told reporters that this executive order is a placeholder as his hope is the General Assembly can get something passed in the next session. According to the Department of Agriculture, Chinese ownership of U.S. farmland has jumped more than 20-fold over the last decade plus. For context, the most up-to-date USDA data shows that foreign entities own just over 3% of privately held agricultural land and less than 2% of all land in the U.S. Of that, Chinese entities control less than half. The majority of foreign-owned land in the U.S. is controlled by Canada.